Raider fans for showing up in pregame and, and sending off uh, one of the great groups of young men to ever come through this facility in this uh, great school. So uh, they were there early. They were there. I, I was worried about that. You want to send out these guys the right way. And our game, our fans were tremendous. So first of all, thank you to them and our student body. And you know, pregame I came out. I didn't see much. Then also we came out and. Uh, what a, what a dream. And, and we had each senior say a couple words in there, and Jermaine Cunningham probably said it best. I'm living, put his both arms up and said, I'm living the dream. And that makes, should make all Gator fans feel good and certainly makes our coaching staff and his teammates feel good. Uh, with that said, I thought one of the best performances we've had here, and it's time to get ready for uh, the Southeastern Conference Championship, which is our goal every year. So thanks. Well, I don't want to expect too much of them. But I kind of expected that. I saw them all week in practice, and you can gauge around here. We've had one of the best Wednesday practices we ever had, and that tells you they're focused. But they've been, you know, it's a little bit like last year, this time of year last year. It just got, you know, got real serious around here. You, you make it. What I found out now that the older I get is the, the toughest games are those six, seven, eight, because you still don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And now, I mean, there, there's not a whole lot of rah rah speeches and everything else. You just come in and get to work because uh, uh, these guys made the. I think uh, one way to look at it is these guys are starting to get used to playing some big games. And how? They, why is it a big game? Because they're pretty good at what they do. How are they good at what they do? Because fundamentally and uh, talent-wise, one of the best teams in the country. So let's not con let's not confuse that with nonsense. Let's keep working on our fundamentals, and, and we do that on Tuesdays and Wednesdays around here. <clears throat> no, I've never seen anything like it, and. Uh, uh, you know, I made a comment on Monday about just I only can relate to my family how close, how contagious he is to them as well, and, and our other coaches' families and our teammates. So no, I'm not saying I like it. It's it's. I hope we get to see that again. I really do. I hope it's here, and we're going to go and try to find some guys like that. I can. I don't know if we will. I just hope we will. You know, I don't know that. Uh, I've only been in athletic college athletics as a coach 20 some years and I've never seen like it like you said the connection between the fans and and I made a comment early in the week about one of the great things he's done for athletics is you know I see David Nelson here I see other guys that have done you know unselfish is kind of a cool thing in, in a world where selfish is you know athletics everybody knows all that stuff but he's made unselfish a great part of college athletics